Today we're gonna teach you how to mill Monel 400. It's a super alloy. You got crazy nickel content. Now you're bringing in the copper. Oh, let's get after it. It's about to get crazy. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Oh, and we're gonna mill some Monel today. So we have been teaching on milling and drilling super alloys, getting into the hard metals. When we were at Hastelloy, we look at our nickel content and we were at about 47%, okay? Then we jumped up to Inconel, 625 and 718, and we went from 47% up to 58, 59% nickel. Nickel is what makes it hard, okay? When we were in the ink canal, we were nickel chromium, and now we're stepping up past 60% nickel into the 64, 65% range, and then we're adding 32% copper, so it's nickel and copper. So today we're gonna show you how to mill it, and then we'll bring another video, we'll show you how to drill it. We're giving you the exact ingredients so you can be successful. All right, so before I get started, I just wanna say, if you guys love what we're throwing down, the education, the entertainment, Entertainment, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if there's something you want us to teach on, put it in the comments below and you might see it in a future vlog. Ah, oh, you see the cutting, it sounds perfect right because this is the ingredient so look at the surface foot in the chip load when i was in the hastaloy i was up in the 225 range when i was in the ink and i was in the 200 210 for surface foot but now i've actually backed it off to about 180. now we're in a hard material we're in an abrasive material so i'm not trying to go gangbusters and just get after it but i'm still being aggressive but at 180, I'm full depth, taking a smaller radio, and we're going 21 inches per minute, which is good, all right? And this tool will be able to run consistently over a long period of time, removing a high amount of material. And that's the biggest thing. All right, so our axial depth is Z negative 0.950. Our radio engagement is 25 thousandths, which is 5% of our cutter diameter, which is a half inch. And we're using the Harvey 3 end mill. This is an aerospace expansion end mill that actually won the Boeing challenge. So this is the exact tool that Boeing uses to rough out all of their titanium on a huge level. All right, so check it out. Sounds absolutely perfect. Uh, see, I keep telling you guys, it's all about the ingredients, understanding the surface foot, the chip load, and having the correct tool for the job to be successful. surface finish this is just this is just roughing but the surface finish feels so nice and the ramp is nice 
are chips. Oh, they're braces, chips, they're small. And they're already sticking into my fingers right there. But chips look absolutely beautiful. And look at that tool. That's close to 40 minutes in just a consistent cut. And it looks absolutely beautiful. All right, boom, mission accomplished. All right, so later on today, we're gonna to actually machine the Monel K500, and we're gonna do another tutorial, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we machine that material. And then after that, we go to A286. What? We're doing all of it, all right? You guys have a great day. Boom, I am out.